All right, guys. Just gonna let you all know I got a package in the mail today. A couple, actually. Um, been wanting to do this for a long time. Uh, Lucky Tackle Box and Monster Bass both have shipped to your home monthly subscriptions for fishing tackle. Well, I've researched and researched, and I couldn't really decide which one I wanted to, to purchase. So I did the best thing. I ordered them both. So I figured I would try this for a few months, figure out which one I like the best, and uh, who knows, I may keep them both. But uh, I'm gonna open these up now. Uh, first off, this is, uh, this is the one from Lucky Tackle Box. Uh, I'm gonna open it up, see what we got. This is actually the tournament series package, so uh, in case any of y'all were wondering what comes in, there's different packages you can get. So I chose the tournament series package. Uh, first off, it's a pretty neat packaging. Um, comes with a uh, you know a welcome card telling you, you know, thanks for being a member. A um, little back to the basics, uh, talking about some different types of worms and some literature for that all right so let's get into the uh to the tackle itself uh first off it comes with a pack of mustad hooks worm hooks uh here's a little pack of uh one uh mustad uh, drop shot hooks here's some lucky tackle box monofilament fishing line 15 pound test Here's a pack of two four-aught worm hooks by Mustad. It must be sponsored by Mustad because um, you're getting a lot of Mustad stuff. Uh, here's some uh, jig heads from Mustad as well. All right, here's some X-Point two-aught worm hooks. Cinchy. It's a little prop bait. It's a pretty cool looking little bait. Here is a pack of Producto. Never heard of those, but uh, I'm sure they've been around for a little while. Little swim baits. Some Gambler Go Fish. Looks like some crawls, some black and blue crawls. Uh, the Flappy Daddy. Here's another uh, pack of toad swim baits. Here's some more productos, the June bug tournament grubs. Those will work really good here in East Tennessee on the uh, either the Nullichucky or the Holston River for those big smallmouth. Here's some smart baits, uh, color changing baits apparently. Never heard of those, but that that's pretty neat. Uh, Looks like some preacher baits. All right. Some lunker lures. Just a little quarter ounce cranking bait. Here's a little top water down home lures. The Uncle Popper. Here's some classified top secret fishing tackle, area 51. Looks like a four inch. And last but not least is the old Lunker Hunt walking frog top water. So that's going to do it for the uh, Lucky Tackle Box tournament series. Um, some pretty cool stuff in there. Uh, can't wait to get out on the rivers and lakes and try those out right now. Uh, Topwater's doing pretty good on uh, on Douglas Lake here in East Tennessee. Um, also catching quite a few on the uh, on Carolina rig. So, uh, Cherokee Lake here in East Tennessee has been kind of kind of weird this year. Uh, not really done real great on Cherokee Lake. And with all the rain and stuff that we've been having here, um, 
it's been hard to get out on the rivers, river systems, because they're, they're flowing so much water constantly, uh, 24 hours a day. Um, with the uh, with the jet boat, I can get out there a little bit, but uh, I like going out and fishing in the kayak or in the uh, old Coleman Crawdad, little 10 foot floating boat. Um, it's pretty nice, but we hadn't hadn't really got to make much trips here this year, so hopefully here in the next uh, couple of weeks we'll. We'll get started on the Nullah Chucky and the French Broad and the Holston River. So I uh, try to post a few videos of fishing. I'm kind of new at this uh, this fishing. Um, well, not not to fishing. I've been fishing all my life, basically. But uh, I'm new at the, the filming and the YouTube, as you can probably tell. Uh, we'll go back and try to do some editing. and um, But uh, get started on box number two. This is... Uh, from Monster Bass. Uh, it's kind of weird. I ordered these a couple of days apart, but they both got here about the same time. So, uh, so here we go, opening up the Monster Bass, and uh, it's a pretty cool little box. It's got uh, got some pretty cool stuff in here. Monster Bass. It's got some uh, YouTube stuff from uh, that you can go on and watch. I've been watching Mr. Alex Rudd fishing here lately. If, if you can see, it's actually printed right on the box from Monster Bass. Um, Alex Rudd has been posting some great, great videos and stuff um, here fishing on some of the local lakes and the rivers and stuff here in East Tennessee. And I love watching his videos. So it's kind of what made me uh, made me want to post, post this video, so. Um, Start off with uh, the first thing out of the box is the old Lunker Hunt. Uh, it's a little chatterbait type. Uh, it's pretty cool little little bait. Never never seen the Lunker Hunt, but uh, that's a half ounce weight. I actually went over uh, to Cherokee last night and fished. Uh, was fishing a similar bait to this and uh, had about a six and a half pound smallmouth come up and just crush it. Um, but uh, Ended up losing it, so uh, hopefully that one there will maybe give me a couple of smallmouth too. Um, here's the bait lab little tournament winning action uh, crankbait. So that's a pretty cool color. This is like a baby bass type color. Um, it's pretty neat. And then you got the old booyah buzz bait. I just picked up a bunch of these the other day from uh, Academy Sports. They they had a good little sale going on down there. Um, here's some KVD, a uh, little finesse worm. It's a uh, pretty cool little color there. It's a pumpkin, green pumpkin top color. Finesse worms, KVD, Strike King finesse worms. Some Stanley jigs. I like Stanley jigs. Real nice jig there. Here's some sandbar tackle worm hooks. Here is a rabid baits. Man, those are killer. Check those out. Um, it's a little little trailer top, but I bet these will be awesome in the in the river systems. But it's a it's a little crawl. It's got some feathers here on the end of the for the pinchers that's that's pretty cool looking i've never seen those before and then here's some chase baits the rip snorter there's a there's a good little river bait as well that's pretty cool uh, and then we got some literature in here and then um then of course the old monster bass sticker so um you know so far i mean both of these have some good quality baits in them um i wasn't uh wasn't really expecting you know to get the you know the big name stuff the you know the mustad the stanley jigs um the kvd worms by strike king you know i was thinking you were going to get some more of uh more of the non-name brand you know booyah it's it's sold all over the world but uh you know some of this stuff i've not heard of 
but uh, that's that's one of the reasons that I bought it is because some of the stuff you've never heard of before is what really catches fish around here. I go to a lot of the bargain places. Uh, Ollie's Bargain Barn has some stuff every once in a while with some uh, Lucky Strike or um, that type of lures that you you know they're harder to find. Um, but uh, all in all, you know I'm pretty impressed with what I got um, for the price point. Uh, Monster Bass was just a little bit cheaper. Um, but, uh, in comparison, I believe we have, let me take these back out, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight packages in the Monster Bass, um, box, and as far as the Lucky Tackle box, We have eight in the monster bass. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So there you have it. Uh, you get double the bait. I'm not going to say that this is going to happen every time, but have double the packages in the uh, Lucky Tackle box. It was a little more expensive um, for the monthly subscription. It was uh, around $46 for the monthly. Um, I feel like I've probably got $60 or $70 worth of baits here probably. Um, so, you know, check it out. Decide which one you like the best and uh, go from there. I think uh, I may go a couple more months to see uh, with both of them to see if there's very much difference because, like I said, I got some good quality baits in both of them. So uh, for less than a hundred dollars a month, I'm getting uh, I'm getting some nice stuff. So uh, it's all all on what you like, what you like to do. I love fishing, so uh, you know, a hundred dollars a month. That's uh, that's a couple of less cheeseburgers from uh, from pals. So uh, and trust me, I can I can slack back on some cheeseburgers because, as you can tell, I'm a hefty guy. But uh, you guys keep watching, and I'll post some more videos. Hope to see y'all in the river. Take care.